This is a webcast for the remote access framework of the Pocket Science Lab, which lets users to access the device via the internet. To use the remote lab framework, we must first launch the Flask-based API server, which will connect to the PS Lab hardware and whose methods can be accessed on port 8000. We will also launch the web app, which is built with Ember.js framework. And the web app is hosted on port 4200 and we'll take a look at the end result shortly. In a web browser, I shall open the URL of the remote access web page. In the corner, there is a sign in link and I'll, I shall use a dummy account. Right, this here is the home page. The API server is being documented using Swagger and includes a web interface which shows the API reference and also lets you test the various methods. For example, the validate login method right here. Coming back to our web app, on the home page, there are various options to create and edit Python scripts as well as execute them. Let's check out a small code snippet. This program does the following. It sets a sine wave on the PS lab to 1 kHz. It captures 100 samples from CH1 with 10 microsecond delay between each sample and stores it to two arrays representing the X and Y axes. It then plots this captured data. It also creates a button widget which is associated with a capture function. When the button is clicked, the capture routine is executed on the server and the returned data is plotted on the plot which we just created. Now let's execute this snippet, this snippet. Right. As you can see, every time the button is clicked, fresh data is retrieved from the server and loaded onto the graph. There are also some example scripts, such as a simple multimeter. And the source code for these can also be viewed simultaneously. In the multimeter, clicking on the buttons simply fetches some voltage values from the server and displays them in a label in front of the button. And that brings us to the end of this webcast. Thank you.